Hey, Jonathan here at Topsaw. Today's video, I'm gonna turn these old 1980s mahogany water skis into a beautiful cutting board for my mother-in-law, so stay tuned. <laughs> Cobra Nash water skis. These things are classic, straight out of 1980 with the neon. Um, I think if you were to try and ski on them, all this rubber would fall apart. Uh, probably end up getting hurt at those speeds. So I'm gonna take them apart. I'm gonna machine the wood down and make my mother-in-law a beautiful uh, mahogany cutting board out of these old skis. First thing I'll do is I'm gonna take these fins off and keep them in case we end up making another wooden wake surf and if you haven't seen my wooden wake surf video click in the link right here and they'll take it take you to it where we made a wooden wake surf and the next ones we make we're going to use these kind of plastic fins then I'm going to take these bindings off throw them away try and figure out the straightest board I could get on here and then I'll probably end up using the track saw to get straight edges and then rip to keep them parallel so the first thing I'm going to do is just start taking these things apart. Okay, I got all the hardware off. I'm just going to cross cut them um, in like 16s or so, ending with like 11 by 14. So maybe 16 or more. First thing I'm going to do is cut off that cup tip. Want to be really careful here to get a straight edge uh, on the top saw. See it there? So I'm gonna push it in this way. Then I'm gonna clamp it down. Safety first, got my glasses on. Um, got a nice clamped and solid. And I'll just cut that out. Oh, look at that, it has a glue laminate bottom I didn't expect that so the bottoms has a separate board on it all right I don't know what we'll do with that but it does look pretty solid so let me cut another board and get a 16 out of it actually I have about 57 58 so I think I'll get three 18s out of it oh, so this one does not have that glue laminate piece on the bottom it does have that cove cut into it. So there's not gonna be that much wood there. I'm gonna turn these things vertical. Um, and then there's that glue laminate piece there. Just to start, right? It's not gonna be that square, but I'm gonna get a straight edge and cross cut off that straight edge when I get there. All right, got a few starting boards here. Okay, so I have my boards. I'm gonna use my Fest Tool track saw straightest edge I could find get on these That's pretty good at my depth Nice straight edge right there. And then from here, I'll go over the table saw. All right, surface on two sides are parallel. I'm gonna go back to my ends and cross cut them perpendicular. Surface four sides over to the planer. I might sand a little bit of this paint off before I run it through the planer.
Okay, so here's my board, surfaced all six sides, plain top and bottom. Then join it a straight cut and then rip parallel. Then cross cut perpendicular, so I'm surfaced all six sides. Had these nail holes in it from the bindings. On this side I cut them off. Really not left with very much wood here, but it will be very sentimental wood. So I think my mother-in-law is going to like this a lot. Um, so I've been ripping strips. It is so thin, you know, it's probably a half inch thick. So it's too thin for breadboards. I've been ripping my boards 13 16 wide, and then I'll do a glue up like this. So it might not even be enough to do a whole cutting board. I might just put some, some of these boards in there. So I'm cutting these 13 16 and I'll mix some other um, hardwoods in there for my cutting board. So let's rip a few strips. my pieces I got out of those water skis right here. Not quite enough for a cutting board, but I'll mix some more uh, wood in there to get enough of a board out of it. I don't know if you can see it here. I'll machine pretty well. I think I'll glue it up pretty well. I did save this little piece right here, so there's just a little tip left. Um, I don't know if, you know, with that cove cut out of it and the arch in it, I don't know if there will be enough to get enough wood for a whole cutting board. I think I might end up saving this for something else. There's a big old block of mahogany I have donated. It's probably two inches thick. Uh, I think I'll just cut some strips out of this. <laughs> Maybe I'll still mix it up with some purple highlights or something, purple heart. Okay, here's our clamp glue up. So here's a mahogany from the water ski, little thin strip of Paduke, water ski mahogany, black walnut, mahogany. So there are a lot of strips mixed in there. Didn't have quite enough time to glue them all up, so we only went to here. And then we'll let those dry and then glue the rest up and we'll put them through the planer. Uh, student saw what I was doing and he brought in an old water ski he had. There's a beautiful water ski here. I don't know if, what he wants to do with it, but um, this will be gorgeous if you want to make it into a cutting board. It'd be cool to keep this in the cutting board somehow. Hopefully his dad knows he took his water ski to school though. So we'll see. All right, next step, we'll let that dry overnight. Um, do another glue up, then plane it, and then machine it into a cutting board. planer looks pretty nice beautiful piece of wood I'm just gonna square it up now make sure this edge is parallel to this edge and then cross cut these perpendicular <laughs> Oh, 
lot of work to get to a cutting board this pretty, and I think it'll have that sentimental wood in there. So those are the water ski parts right there. I'll just go to the bandsaw, cut those corners up, sand up to my line. I'm trying to get the rope to line up to some of the stripes in there. So we'll see how that goes. It's a woman water skiing on two skis. Play. All right, there it is. Laser engraved in there. Pretty deep. Looks like she's running on the water. And then the ropes in there. Okay, that's sanding, the finished sanding coat with my Fest Tool Rotex. I love this tool. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. This is the best sander ever. You go up through the grit, it is probably 10 times faster than that random orbital sander. So there's the finished product. We started right here with a pair of old Cobra Nash water skis. I cut as much wood out of them as I could. Made this cutting board for my mother-in-law. There are the water skis right there. There's a laser engrave of her skiing. Um, and then just a little more sanding and oil and then it's all done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, hit like, subscribe, and I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks for watching.